So guys, that is the brand new Chevy ZH2, a prototype, and who am I speaking with? I'm Brian Butrico. I'm the project engineer leader for the ZH2 program with the U.S. Army Tank Automotive Research Development and Engineering Center, TARDEC. So guys, we're here at Fort Carson in Colorado, and we're uh, getting a ride in the ZH2. What is the ZH2? The ZH2 is a public-private partnership between General Motors and the U.S. Army to demonstrate and evaluate the capabilities of hydrogen fuel cell technology in a military, highly off-road, mobile-capable vehicle. So it's a hydrogen-powered Colorado, basically. That's exactly what it is. So it, it, for lack of a better term, it's a parts bin car. So we looked at General Motors and what they had on the shelf. We grabbed their fuel cell system from the Equinox program and then their new highly off-road capable ZR2 chassis um, based on the Colorado. Kind of combined all the technologies into a, a new innovative approach to have a hydrogen fuel cell off-road vehicle. And uh, you guys are already testing it, right? Absolutely. This is our second evaluation with soldiers. Uh, the first one was down at Eglin Air Force Base in Florida. And again, now here we're in uh, beautiful, sunny Fort Carson, Colorado. Let's walk over to the yellow board here and kind of talk about some of the capability of this thing. Absolutely. So yeah. some of the capabilities, I guess the, the first and foremost that everybody loves is the acoustic signature. The vehicle is much quieter than a traditional combustion engine vehicle. Um, all the soldiers from scouts to medics to special forces are all very keen on that capability. Um, the other thing is it also has a much lower thermal signature than a traditional combustion engine. It runs at about 85 C maximum um, compared to, you know, several hundred degrees C with a traditional diesel or combustion engine. And uh, let's talk about the uh, first, oh, let's see, it's Gen Zero power cell, right? You guys are on the second generation, but that still has the original uh, fuel cell. Correct. So the ZH2 is running with the Generation Zero from General Motors. Um, it's a very old old fuel cell. We call it the, the dinosaur stack. Uh, it's about a 13, 14 year old design, but it's very, very reliable and durable. GM has over 3 million miles of on-road experience and testing um, from that stack. Um, but right now, GM is working on their what they call the Generation 2. Um, so we're also evaluating that with them. Um, it's Some of those cells are in our dynamometers right now at Tardec. Um, we would like about that. It's less than half the size, half the weight, same power output, and more efficiency, and a much lower cost compared to the Generation Zero that's in the ZH2. And here's the cool part about it right here, right? There's the fuel cell, but this is the cool part. It's got a power takeoff on the back. Absolutely. You know, so it, it's it's an electric vehicle, but we use hydrogen to produce the electricity. Um, so we can use that electricity to power the vehicle through an electric motor, or we can also direct that energy to the export power takeoff unit and act as a stationary generator. So the vehicle can actually produce off exportable or offboard power um, 25 to 50 kilowatts peak. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to chat Absolutely. with me. Appreciate and having you. You guys saw it first on TFL Now. That is the oh, new ZH2. So Will you guys build it? Can I buy this thing? I love it, man. I love it. It's so <laughs> cool. 37-inch wheels, 12 inches of ground clearance, what, 48 degrees approach angle, 39 departure angle? You got it. I just got to ride in it, and we're going to have that video up on TFL Truck very soon, but I wanted to give you kind of a sneak peek as to what we're doing here today. So thank you very much. And then build, build it. Build it. We want to. <laughs> I want to power my house with the truck. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Ciao. Thank you.